Uh, so the motivation behind this is I wanted the LED to share the same power supply as of the uh, as of the flywheels, but I do want it such that when I rev the uh, flywheel, the LED will not dim. So uh, what I need is probably something that can uh, step down the uh, DC voltage to the voltage of my choice, and it will be. Uh, remain stable even if I were to rev the motor and there's a slight drop in voltage because of that action I want it such that you right, uh, you have a constant voltage and that will most likely uh, stabilize the uh, LED and you know go off so uh, let's try I connect the uh, LED to the same light source as you can see over here so I'll try to rev the uh, trigger. Uh, as you can see, uh, the LED is still the same. It did not dim. So now I switch off the light. Let's take another look. Again, the LED, you will not feel the uh, dimming of the LED. So basically, this is achieved by using the uh, small buck converter that you see, the green little chip over there. So that is the one that uh, step down the DC voltage and uh, it will make it constant. And the good thing about it is uh, it's pretty efficient. And uh, if you want to add more LED, we simply connect them in uh, parallel. So over here, I'm just a little bit lazy. So I use the breadboard so that I do, I do not need to solder all the uh, LED together. Basically, uh, we are just connecting them in parallel. Uh, So they will they will they will have the same amount of voltage as you can see. Can I, I can add more, connect more. Um, this guy can uh, take up to three m, so uh, it's pretty much. Uh, you can call, connect quite a lot of LED. As one, every single one is just a uh, zero point zero two m. So basically, I've set it up such that uh, the buck converter here is calibrated to supply only uh, around 3 volts. That is probably the forward voltage for the uh, LED. So now, uh, let's take a look uh, if I were to supply uh, the power supply. Let's say we have a 3S LiPo. Okay. As you can see, the voltmeter here okay, is 12 volt. However, the output voltage after the uh, buck converter over here is actually 2.9, which is around 3 volts. So, if we were to just connect our LED, which is uh, the forward voltage, is about 3 volts. Okay, it will just light up perfectly. Alright, so. If we were to continue to connect the uh, LED in a parallel, okay, it will just take the same voltage and uh, it will to light up. Alright, so now, even if we were to switch the power supply to a 2S light bulb, which we expect the uh, voltage to be around, okay, in this case, 7.5 but you can see that the uh, output voltage is uh, still constant 2.9 so in this case uh, basically I'm just using a constant voltage to control the uh, lighting up of the LED okay this is the buck converter as you can see it's uh, pretty small okay you can adjust the output voltage via this little screw over here um, you can connect your buck, buck on the converter to your voltmeter and you can uh, do slight adjustment to the output voltage of your choice like uh, what i shown there um, basically i want to check whether will this uh, buck converter cause a lot of heat so i'm going to test it out with a series of uh, led and uh, switch it on and see uh, how much it heat it generates Okay, so we have switched it on. Okay.
okay i'm gonna leave it on for a while but uh, i'm gonna take the initial reading so for example let's take a look so the temperature is climbing Okay, so it's going to be roughly around this uh, 29, 30, right? So it seems to be climbing. So uh, I'm going to leave this on for a while and uh, see how high it goes. Okay, we are about 20 minutes in. Uh, so let's uh, first check, uh, check the uh, voltage. Yeah, it's still around 3 volts Okay So now let's take the uh, temperature Okay So it's around 33 point something. Yep. Okay. In fact, it's not uh, that uh, hot at all. All right. Now, in fact, there are quite a number of uh, this type of uh, converter, the buck converter. So uh, just to uh, show you. So this is the size of a 9 volt. Okay, this is the size of the uh, CR2032. So in fact, the one that we are using, the buck converter is this small. Now, this can be quite uh, difficult to adjust as it's pretty sensitive. Uh, in fact, you can go for something that is slightly bigger, something like this. Okay, uh, it'll be easier to adjust with this, uh, this potentiometer over here. So you can adjust it uh, to your the voltage that you like and it's not that that big in size as you can see over here in fact if you were to take a strife okay in fact you can just put it here should be should be plenty of space now uh, there are a few more of such converter which i do not have uh, in fact i'm still trying out a few more some is a uh, a standard uh, voltage uh, supply that means you are not you do not need to adjust uh, it just come with something like uh, you can take up to 12 volt and then convert it to 3.3 which is most likely uh, sufficient for your LED okay and uh, a slightly uh, bigger one uh, they can even uh, control the um, current so that will be ideal, you can uh, ready, uh, you can control the voltage as well as the current So in fact you can set it to the ex exact amount of your choice And it can uh, drive your LED just fine Okay, hopefully I can uh, make uh, another video uh, Once I got all the uh, different bug converter that I got in to test out for the LEDs Okay, thanks for watching